All right, so I look ridiculous. I'll show you from like a lower angle. I do not there. Hello, vlog. What's up? How's it going? I just finished up some work and now I might take a bath. Tomorrow I'm getting surgery. If you guys saw last week's vlog, you know that I'm getting a gum graft and a bone graft on this tooth. It doesn't look that bad right now, but you can see my gum is a little bit thin right there and I need a little more volume in my root area too. So that's why we're taking the bone graft for right there. And then um, once I'm all healed, I'll get a new implant that's longer because this one has moved up over time because I got my tooth implant like 10 years ago when I was 18. If you know anything about implants or like dental abnormalities, it's a long journey. It takes a long time. A lot of processes, a lot of money, all kinds of things. I'm still riding that wave. Pretty much a lifelong thing. I'm just taking it easy tonight mentally and physically preparing myself for the surgery which i don't think will be too bad i got the implant obviously already and when i did that i also got a bone graft i just um confirmed with my old doctor back home who did my implant when i was 18 we did do a bone graft as well which i didn't even know about at the time because i think when i was 18 i just didn't even really know what was going on i was just like excited to finally get a tooth when I was 18 and stop having a retainer that would flip down even though it was a pretty good party trick and my best friend also was missing this tooth in high school so we had a fun little party trick about it so I've technically already done this once before in some capacity I don't think I had a gum graft then but I feel like the bone graft is probably worse so I'm gonna shower I'm gonna relax I'm gonna get a good night's sleep and I've been taking Arnica and bromelain for a week per my doctor's recommendation to help with swelling and inflammation and everything. So that's kind of prepared me and that's all you can do. I mean, I feel a little anxious right now just because you're waiting to go do something that you know is going to be uncomfortable and painful probably. So yeah, I mean, that's very normal to feel like that but I know that it's gonna be okay and I'm gonna get through it so yeah that's, that's kind of the vibe right now and then I will I'm just excited to get this over with it's a part of my smile that needs a little bit of extra love at this point in my life so yeah that's where we're at okay it's still the night before I just took a nice long hot bath and I'm gonna put on lotion I'm gonna have a good dinner because I'm gonna have to eat a soft foods diet for two weeks at minimum after the procedure which is um, not like a liquid diet ju diet just soft foods so I need something kind of without any restrictions first to enjoy and then yeah I'm just gonna like, put on lotion I'm gonna read a nice book I'm gonna watch a show I like I'm going to take um, some CBD and melatonin tonight and get a really good night's sleep and I'm just going to do my best to relax and do a little self-care before trauma to the map. So if anyone's going through something similar, um, just try to do something nice for yourself the night before. I think it's a good idea.
recommended by the doctor and my sedation pill. Does this go under my tongue, did it say? Or just follow everything? Swallow, yeah. I'm taking a like twilight sedative, so I won't be fully out. I will just be consciously sedated, which is apparently when people say like really weird things. So here goes nothing. Hopefully, I don't say anything too weird. Taking that an hour before I get to the doctor, and then when I get to the doctor, they'll assess my sedation level, give me more, depending on that, and then I think I rest for, I rest for an hour at the doctor. And then, surgery is an hour and a half. Hop in the car in a little bit here and head there. I didn't sleep amazing last night, which I think is probably to be expected when you're getting surgery the next day. Um, but I slept okay. Oh, I also need to go. I'm gonna go find headphones because I said I could bring headphones and listen to whatever I want. So I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna listen to. I don't want to like ruin one of my favorite artists by listening to them during the surgery and then associating the two. But they said I'm not going to remember anything anyways. But I also thought maybe I should listen to peaceful meditation music or something with like a high vibration. It's good for healing. Here we go. How are you feeling? So weird. <laughs> I was saying it's like blurry. Really? Yeah. Get the oral surgery. Just dropped Delaney off at the, uh, I guess it's surgery, surgery, operation. Uh, they gave her some more of the relaxing medication right before I left. Kiss her goodbye, and then she's gonna be ready in about three hours. So, yeah, yeah, about three hours. So I'm gonna go to Whole Foods right now actually and do some shopping for a bunch of stuff that she's gonna probably wanna eat or like this new kind of soft diet that she's gonna have to be on. I mean, most things we eat already is pretty soft, but I'm just gonna stock up on, uh, she, this morning she mentioned cream of wheat. I'll probably get some yogurt. I'm gonna make these smoothies uh, that we saw on TikTok, I think. It's got like 30 vegetables in them, fruits and vegetables. So I'm just gonna pretty much go to the produce <laughs> side and grab one of everything or, or more, but maybe a few of everything. Uh, that'll really get a bunch of nutrients for her, and apparently it doesn't taste that bad, so, but you're getting 30 different fruits and vegetables, so we'll give that a try, and then I was thinking I was going to make her like a rice soup, uh, for her to have mashed potatoes, I'll probably get like a white fish actually to maybe cook for her, just like really soft flaky kind of fish. They had some uh, recommendations on their little post-operation card. Oatmeal or cream of wheat. Um, maybe, oh we have applesauce, so I'll probably give her some applesauce. So macaroni and cheese, maybe do a little macaroni and cheese. But yeah, so I'm just gonna kinda go check out, get a bunch of stuff, and run that home. I was doing laundry this morning, or I was doing the sheets, wash the sheets. So we'll have a fresh bed to sleep on tonight, and yeah, just gonna pick her up and take care of her for the day. Yeah. The ones that hate me the most just like me. Okay, we got Delaney home and she's not allowed to talk very much. So she's just resting on the couch. And her first request is vanilla ice cream with olive oil and pink salt. So I have to try it first. 
see if it's any good. Probably just gonna really just let her rest today. She seems to be doing good. Not much swelling. But it's a fun request. Not bad, actually. Tastes like olive oil and salt. It's pretty good, actually. Do they make ice cream with salt on it? Mm -hmm. You look good, baby. Mm -hmm. Do we know if you have a tooth? Mm -mm. You don't have one? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, dude. Alright, Delaney just got up from a nap. She slept for maybe about 45 minutes or so. And I'm making her a little lunch. I just boiled a uh, sweet potato. And I'm just gonna make a mashed sweet potato, something nice and easy for her. I gotta let it cool off though because she's not supposed to have anything hot. Um, she's had a little bit of bleeding so far. Um, we just put a little wet gauze on it for a little while. And then also some cold ice water in there to try to stop the oozing. And I think that kind of helped. So we're just taking it easy. All right, <coughs> Delaney's more, more, uh, I don't even know what the word is. I want to say live, but she wasn't. She's, uh, what's the word? Sorry for my brain fart. Here's our patient. Doing good? Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, we're gonna have macaroni and cheese for dinner. And we've just been chilling all day. I think the word I was trying to think of was alert. She's more alert. Brain fart. All right, this morning we went out, got out of the house. We went and got uh, some frozen yogurt, walked on the beach, and then we went to Target, uh, TJ Maxx, and just kind of walked around. Since the last couple days, we've just been in the house most of the day. Delaney's still pretty swollen, and she's still not talking much to just try to not disturb the area. So I'm gonna make these bomb things that we saw on TikTok. I'll put the video up here for you guys. It's gonna have like, <clears throat> or maybe it's on Instagram. Pretty much what they said is just buy a bunch of fruits and vegetables and then put all the vegetables in the food processor and then put all of the fruit in a food processor separately. And then you end up with jars of vegetables and jars of fruit and then you combine them and you have a smoothie and you get like so much nutrients and apparently it doesn't taste that bad. I'll show you guys what I got. So I got kale, this is chard, spinach, celery, dino kale, carrots, bananas, blueberries, oranges, apples, pineapple, mango, cantaloupe, and melon. I'm gonna do an avocado in there too, so that's 15 different fruits and vegetables. I thought this would be a good thing to do to, to post-surgery, but we also were thinking about doing it like outside of the surgery time frame, but it's, it's probably really good to do during surgery because of all the different uh, nutrients that she's able to get in an easy form because she can't really bite through bananas right now or bite through chunks of fruit carrots, stuff like that, so this will just be blended and she'll be able to get all of it. All 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I put all the mason jars in the sink. I'm gonna put a small amount of the green in each one, maybe like a half a cup here, and then fill up the rest with, hopefully if I made enough, uh, the fruit kind, and fill them all up. All right, so this is the finished product. What I'm gonna do is, I think we, Delaney and I will probably just share one of these to start each day. But for now, what I'm gonna do is put them all in the freezer, besides the one for tomorrow, because it's gonna need to thaw out overnight. And then each night, I'll take one out of the freezer and put it into the refrigerator for the next day. And then what we're gonna do is just blend it up, uh, oat milk in there, and then have it as a smoothie. But this is a really awesome way to get a bunch of fruits and vegetables. Pretty easy process. And can definitely do more fruits and vegetables too. I feel like I got like 15 total. You can just keep going and going and then spread it out amongst. I made a total of eight of these. You could probably make 12 easily, um, adding a few more fruits and vegetables. So we will let you guys know how they taste tomorrow. Good morning, guys. As you can see, I'm still a little swollen and I'm trying not to talk too much because I don't want to like disturb my mouth. I'm just being like as careful as possible to have like the best healing experience. But yeah, I feel pretty good. I don't feel bad at all. I haven't really felt bad the whole time. I have a little bit low energy. Just letting my body heal and like lay around. I am really bored. That's the hardest thing for me. And like eating isn't as fun because you're on a soft foods diet, so yeah, I, I miss eating and like doing things, but pretty good, so. Just really swollen. There's no tooth right there. I can't really like open my mouth that much because again, it would just like disturb the healing. So I can't really show you guys, like look how swollen my lip is. That my tooth is gone right there. So yeah, we're hanging in there. All right, it's time to try out the smoothie bomb. Slept in the fridge overnight. Mm. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do a little oat milk. I don't think it needs any ice cubes because it, mm -hmm. it's pretty cold. Okay, let's see what this tastes like. 15 fruits and vegetables. Not that many. Mm. Organic Olivia, I think she did like 30 of each. Mm -hmm. Smells melony, mm. cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really not that bad. Not bad at all. Is it good? I mean, it's borderline good, borderline. I think I didn't do strawberries, but if I had, did strawberries, Blackberry. blackberries, I'd get a little bit more berries in there. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the melon, cantaloupe, and pineapple's kind of powering it right now. Try it. I just did my mouth wash. Oh. Can I see how it is? Sorry, baby. Oh, that, she did that on purpose. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Doing good today? Mm-hmm. It smells like something. Veggies? Mm-hmm. So apparently this is also really good for your gut health. Mm-hmm. Not sure why. I would think because uh, your your gut has to break down so many different types of things. Do you think that's why, babe? I don't know. But that girl, um, Organic Olivia, yeah. she said that it like 
has made their um, their brain and gut function really good, right? So brain and gut, yeah. It actually tastes it tastes good, guys. It tastes just like. I feel like so many smoothies, fruit smoothies or green smoothies, like taste the same, and this tastes like all the other ones, but there's 15 different mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables in here. Like it's always gonna taste kind of the same. So and normally when we make those, we don't use as many. No, we'll just do like a strawberry kale and spinach, kale or spinach, and then like that's it. Yeah, so we're definitely getting like a lot more veggies and fruits than we normally would when we yeah make those so that's already an improvement but yeah this girl i don't see like a highlight about it or anything i just i think it was just on her oh, stories sorry, one day but um her whole page is about like wellness and health she's an herbalist so we'll put her we'll put her hand away here for you guys she knows more than we do but um tastes great good. i don't even know if i'd add protein to it yeah maybe i just have it separate yeah. Cause I, then it would get like kind of thick mm -hmm. and whipped. Mm -hmm. This is nice. I recommend it, guys. Cheers. Okay, so I'm back to talking, and I wanted to do a little sit-down video or like portion of this video. What? Okay. Yep. Love you. All right, so I look ridiculous. There's stuff all over my face. Also, I don't have my tooth, so I can't really like this part of my mouth um, is so numb, so it doesn't really like. I can't like smile like this. My lip doesn't go up when I smile. So it's kind of hard to show my gap. I show you from like a lower angle. My tooth is not there. There you go. Gonna see. I'm back to talking, so yeah, just wanted to do a little video explaining a bit more about the surgery and try to give you guys like a little bit of a guide, so to speak, of what it was like, what to expect. So I just put together like a little um, outline of my experience pretty much that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm also gonna try to put this retainer in that has like a little tooth. Okay. Then I won't have like a lisp. No, I'll still have a lisp. Okay. This is the first time I've worn this. Now I have a little tooth there. Feels kind of like uncomfortable. Back to business here. Lids. Okay, my lips are really dry. My face is still kind of numb. I'm sorry if I'm talking weird and if I look weird, but that's just the reality of my life right now. So, let's go over my gum graft, bone graft surgery in its entirety, pretty much. Okay, and one thing that I want to mention before I go into this is this whole conversation is to make anyone feel better about this procedure if they have to go through it or if they have to go through something similar because dental or abnormalities are so common. I found out through all of you guys sharing your experience with me and when I shared my experience first and so many of us are going through this stuff. It's insane. As you know, if you've been through it, it's a hard thing. It's very much so a struggle. It can be really hard on your self-confidence. It can be extremely expensive. It can be time consuming. It can be painful. It can drag out, feel like it's never ending. There's a lot Lot of waves to ride in this whole process if you have dental abnormalities so my heart goes out to you and there's so many of us you're not alone and also when it comes to self-confidence and normalizing it I just want to kind of open up that conversation and make it more approachable for everyone to understand how normal it is and that it's okay so you know that's why i show you guys what i look like without a tooth that's why i share that i don't have a tooth there and i'm sharing this experience and i just want us all to know that we're in it together it's super normal and you're also all beautiful no matter what's going on with your teeth so if you're missing teeth if you have teeth that are broken if you have teeth that have to get pulled if you have jaw issues whatever it is obviously i can't relate to every single dental issue but i can relate to dental abnormalities as a whole and 
I know what it feels like to be self-conscious of that, but I promise you are so beautiful no matter what's going on with your mouth and you're also so normal for it. So don't beat yourself up and know that there's tons of people going through the same thing. And there's a lot of support and love and community around it. So I hope that makes anyone feel better who is having a hard time with that situation. And also before I dive into my experience with getting a bone graft and a gum graft i want to share that my doctor experience so far has been really good which is really helpful so make sure you're finding a good doctor that you feel comfortable with you like their work they are recommended all of those things so my doctor is actually like a team so dr ravon did my surgery part and then dr taylor rice will do my implant which I'm really excited for that will be in a couple of weeks so you guys can see I'll keep you updated once I get that but they're both really nice great doctors I was actually recommended them by a friend which always makes it so helpful if they come recommended from someone who has experienced them their whole staff and office has done such a good job of taking care of me making sure I have everything I need as far as information and um, tools and everything make me feel really comfortable and confident and working with me to get exactly what I want and being super understanding so that's so important to find if you're going through things like this so don't rush it and make sure you're doing your research and that you're happy with the people that you go with because it's very helpful and yeah now let's just get into what it was like up until this point you guys have seen most of what the experience entailed of like getting the surgery and stuff every night for the first five or six days i took a video showing what i looked like and what the healing process looked like to give you guys a visual perception of kind of how the days went and what to expect if you're getting something like this and overall i would say the entire experience was pretty easy i do have a high pain tolerance but realistically i'm you know i'm trying to be as subjective as i can about that i would say the pain was like a one to two at its worst so not bad at all scale of one to ten and for discomfort i would say about the same maybe a two to three for discomfort which i actually prefer pain to discomfort but still not bad at all generally easy as you can see from those videos the thing that i experienced the most was swelling and a little bit of bruising and that's normal i haven't put on makeup for like a week just because my face is kind of sore and it's puffy anyway so i just feel like it's not worth it but obviously you could put on makeup and cover up at least the bruising not the swelling but the swelling i think was worst on days two and three maybe and then it's progressively gotten better it's almost gone it's just a little kind of looks like it got a fat lip a little bit for the swelling and the pain and discomfort every day i took my antibiotic prescribed by my doctor advil two to three times a day like with every meal or so and then, um, what's it called? What the hell is it called? No, really, what's it called? Arnica. Took Arnica, which is like a homeopathic remedy for inflammation. So that helps with swelling too. And then I took bromelain every day as well. All those were recommended by my doctor. And obviously, do your own research. Talk to your doctor too. For the pain, what it was like is more of like a dull aching pain than ever like a sharp pain. Which is good. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of like having a headache, I guess. Um, or like a toothache is more similar even. The one last bit of medicine that I was taking medicine i should say was the mouthwash prescribed to me by my doctor because you can't brush your teeth in that area so i just would like swish the mouthwash around in that area to make sure it wasn't getting infection it was getting clean and everything that's kind of hard but you're also not like chewing food over there because you can't so that's kind of what you have to do for your teeth 
cleaning portion of your life during this time which is a little bit funky but it's doable and then I also just wanted to talk about like recovery and healing obviously I think it's best to take a lot of time to rest which if you know me you know I'm not good at resting that was really hard for me but I'm gonna share a couple of things that I did while resting that made the time pass and I feel like we're good for me also on a side note of healing I think your mouth is like the fastest or one of the fastest parts of your body to heal itself which is really good because I feel like it just does a great job of regenerating your cells and taking care of any wounds and you're just able to heal pretty quickly on your mouth which is a huge relief if you are getting this kind of surgery so now i'm going to share the things that i did while i was resting that i felt like were good for me taking a bath was really nice i preferred taking a bath over a shower at this time i did have lower energy than i normally do which is really frustrating to me because i love just being a busy bee but i really didn't have it in me i think obviously my body was just taking a lot of my energy to help me heal so i was a little bit more tired so like laying down in the bath reading a book i felt was a better option for me than standing in the shower i did watch sh some shows like caught up on shows if you guys know i'm obsessed with bravo i've been watching bravo since i was in high school so i mostly just watched bravo and then i also like watching sports and i think it was a huge blessing that there was some really good football games on while i was healing because having those live sports that are like really engaging and live and present and kind of urgent to them is a great distraction and football games are also pretty long so it was a good way to pass the time for me and then I, I tried not to be just like a troll on my phone I mean I shouldn't say troll because I'm living like an internet troll but I tried not to be just like a blob on my phone all the time because obviously way too much screen time is not good for you and I was already watching the tv and I just didn't want to like go into a freaking hole but i did set, spend obviously some time on social media scrolling and for me the most like soothing relaxing thing to watch um whenever i want to unwind or like healing or whatever is food videos so i watched a million food videos even though i can't eat like a ton of foods right now i still find it really therapeutic and i did a lot of online shopping like a lot just buying those random things like any viral like makeup thing that I saw, I was like, I want to try that. I'm going to order that. I ordered like some clothes. I'm trying to think of what else I ordered, just random things. Honestly, I've always been like a retail therapy type of person. I literally always love shopping and online shopping, especially if I'm like <laughs> bored or sad or something. So yeah, I did do that. I'm not going to lie. Other than those things, because those were pretty much all screen time other than the bath, I did read a lot, which reading is my favorite, favorite thing. But I did get to do a lot of that, which I'm super grateful for. I also whipped out my coloring book that I have up in my office. I don't use it that often, but this was a perfect time to use it. Really healing, therapeutic activity. And I mentioned it over on Instagram, but I colored a picture and then I'm gonna send it to my grandma in the mail because I always used to love coloring pictures for her when I was a little girl um, and giving them to her. So that was really fun and sweet. I liked doing that a lot. I took a lot of naps, which I don't normally do. Um, again, I think just sleeping and resting is so good for healing the body. So that was great. And going on some walks, going outdoors. Um, we went to the beach a couple of times, anything just kind of like healing in nature felt good. Didn't have a ton of energy to do as much as I normally would outside, but, um, just a little bit of time outside I think helps a lot and I also mustered up the energy to clean out a couple of things so one day we cleaned out like a closet in our house and um, just like little manageable projects like that were good for me okay so that's pretty much what I was doing while I was resting aka going crazy for me I also wanted to share with you guys some soft foods that I've been eating because if you have to get this procedure, you have to eat soft foods for two weeks, maybe even longer. And it's not a liquid diet, it's just soft foods, but it's still just hard having restrictions on what you can eat. If you like love food and you enjoy food like I do, it's, it sucks when you can't have everything. Some things that I ate that I enjoyed and I'll continue eating is ice cream um you guys saw i had ice cream with olive oil and salt i learned that from my friend erica the fashion lush it was something that her grandma grandpa taught her and i think it's an 
old Italian thing as well. It's freaking delicious. So highly recommend that. And popsicles are great. Anything cold on the first day was really good, really soothing. And mashed potatoes. Can't go wrong with those. Love those. They always sound good. Um, I also loved a mashed sweet potato. As you guys saw, Clayton made that. And um, other mashed things, so like cauliflower and broccoli are so good kind of just as mashed potatoes or you can mix them in with a potato and make it all mashed but anything like that with a little bit of butter and salt you put some cheese in there or sour cream whatever floats your boat really good though and just a nice soft texture easy to deal with in this situation soups are really good we made some soups we got some soups from whole foods um food processored veggies you can put some broth in there or some plant-based milk or cream cheese butter whatever to kind of dress it up but um cooking down like your spinach or kale and greens and putting in there and making kind of just like a it's like a soupy or like a spread just veggie type of thing it's almost like a sauce but if you are craving some veggies or you want to get some greenery in um kind of having it in that format was good for me and smoothies are good you can't use a straw after this procedure so you have to eat them with a spoon or just like drink them and as you guys saw clayton made those smoothies that we learned about the diversity bombs with the fruits and veggies tons of fruits and veggies in there so i feel like that was really good soft pasta is fine so like mac and cheese or we made a vodka sauce pasta one night uh, anything like that hot cereals oatmeal cream of wheat grits is good for breakfast um, I have had some soft tofu as well for protein uh, I love tofu and I put like some silken tofu and just some ramen that I made at home which is that really soft tofu that was good and rice is like my favorite food I can still have rice I feel very happy about that um, we got some fried rice the other day and that was perfect I think that's pretty much it for the foods and obviously just make sure you're drinking a lot of liquids as well and then a couple of other things that I just wanted to quickly touch on with you guys is the Twilight experience I actually do remember most of it yeah like I remember most of it and not in a bad way I was in no pain I honestly didn't feel any pain during the procedure or anything but I remember like going to the doctor I remember walking back to the chair I remember talking to the nurse before she gave me my second pill. I remember Clayton putting the headphones on me and the meditation music starting. I remember like bits of the surgery actually, just like the doctor's hands and like seeing the screen in front of me and stuff. That is kind of like a blur and I didn't really know what was going on, which is nice, but I didn't not remember things like I thought was going to happen sleeping i was a little bit worried that i would have trouble sleeping but honestly it was fine just make sure you're putting a lot of moisturizer on your lips or like a lip moisturizer on there because they do get a little bit dry and i just slept on my back tried to keep my head a little elevated but i slept totally fine which i'm really grateful for there was no discomfort or anything like that and i also have to point out that i'm so grateful that i had clayton during this time and obviously always he did such a good job at taking care of me and he was just really understanding of everything I was going through I didn't talk for a couple of days so I was like texting him while I was right next to him or just doing a lot of uh-huh mm -hmm, like you know being a weirdo and he was so good about it took such good care of me always made sure I had um, my medicine and was getting me drinks and making me food so very very grateful for that and if you have someone who is willing to take care of you you're so lucky and it is very much helpful but i think you can also do it on your own if that is what works for you as well i just wanted to point that out so that's pretty much it for my experience if you guys have questions i'm happy to answer them in the comments below of course so just let me know and good luck if you're doing this